Good morning. Today we're going to be talking about the American decision to drop the atomic bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay, the essential question here was for President Harry Truman, uh, do I use the atomic bomb? What would happen if I use the atomic bomb? What would be the world's reaction if I dropped the atomic bomb? Uh, President Truman had just, been, uh, had just taken over for President Roosevelt, who had died right at the end of World War II, or towards the end of World War II. Uh, the beginning of a crash program. American Atomic Bomb Project was in its early stages at the beginning of the war. Uh, the United States, Japan, the Soviet Union, and Germany were all creating and trying to develop the atomic bomb. Uh, independent research was doing, being done in Britain, one of our allies. Uh, on October 9, 1941, the United States started uh, real significant research for the construction of our atomic bomb. It was called the Manhattan Project. In June of 1942, the atomic bomb project was controlled by the War Department Army Corps of Engineers. They were responsible for getting the physicists and scientists and all the materials needed to create the atomic bomb. Uh, to disguise this ultra-secret project, the Corps created the Manhattan Engineer District, uh, a headquarters based initially in New York City, but most of the work was done in Los Alamos, New Mexico. It's a very secret project. We didn't want the word to get out to the other nations that we were working on it for fear of spies or espionage. Uh, one of the most important scientists to work on this was uh, Mr. Robert J. Oppenheimer, a man who was tortured uh, with his decision to help create this bomb afterwards. And this is a uh, quote of his and a, uh, a picture of him. Los Alamos National Laboratory. Okay. Uh, during the Manhattan Project, Los Alamos was home to thousands of employees. Not all of them knew the, what they were working on, but they did know that they were working on something top secret uh, under the code name Trinity. Uh, the success. Two atomic bombs were made. They were named Little Boy and Fat Man. Uh, Fat Man being the size of a uh, medium-sized car and a little boy probably of a smaller car. These were not the, the smaller nuclear weapons that we have today. Uh, they were not totally confident that these would work, but there had been so much time and effort put into them that they really didn't have too much time or, or the materials necessary to test them out appropriately. Uh, there is the first test, uh, Trinity, July 16, 1945, uh, at its inception there. These were fission bombs, and this is a diagram of a fission bomb here. A fat man and little boy themselves, that's a, b a better picture, a little boy here, and fat man there, and, uh, you know, very heavy. Uh, some of the weapons in World War II, through the last stages of the war, two new weapons were introduced, the long-range rocket, which could allow for delivery of these type of uh, weapons, and the atomic bomb, <coughs> which was a weapon itself. Throughout the war, most weapons were an improved version of older weapons from World War I, and these were really the first significant steps towards creating newer, more destructive weapons in World War II. Uh, atomic bomb equaled absolute destruction here. Uh, the theory was, and will be proven later, that there would be nothing left alive once a nuclear bomb was used. Uh, Russian influences here. Uh, at the end of World War II, Russia was a... Um, a, a wary ally of the United States, and we were kind of in a race between the two nations to see who could develop the atomic bomb quicker. Uh, President Truman's advisors convinced him that if the atomic bomb was used, it would keep uh, our Russia away from Japan and away from trying to invade uh, the era here. A chance for peace. Uh, one week before Roosevelt's death, Japanese Prime Minister Kuniaki Koiso and his, and his uh, cabinet resigned. Okay, this was the second resignation of a prime minister in two years. Uh, Japan believed unconditional surrender was not tolerable. Uh, Japanese society was not tolerant of an unconditional surrender and the loss of face there. Uh, uses for the bombs. Who do we use it against? Okay, do we use the bomb against Germany or Japan? An American general, General Groves, Groves believed it could end World War II. Uh, Two billion dollars was used to build the bomb. Uh, he felt that that much money invested in it was a reason that it had to be used. So this bomb was going to be used. The question was, who was it going to be used against? Okay. Uh, Emperor Hirohito, pictured here, uh, led the Japanese move against unconditional surrender. Uh, it would be a, a slap in the face of the Japanese divinity of the monarchy. Okay. Uh, 
the atomic bomb convinced the emperor to break the deadlock of Japan's generals and accept the declaration that had been uh, instituted upon them at Potsdam earlier. Uh, the atomic bomb was given as a main reason for the surrender of Japan here. You'll see that after we drop it, they have really no choice but to surrender. Uh, Japan is going to fight to the end. Uh, while the Germans had surrendered and once Hitler had uh, committed suicide, kind of gave up their effort in the war here, Japan was going to fight until the last man and it was going to cost hundreds of thousands of American lives to invade the island, which would be necessary to, to make them surrender. Um, the theory was that we could actually save Japanese and American lives by dropping the bomb. Uh, because an invasion would be long and drawn out and, and cost possibly more lives than just the one-time or two-time use of the atomic bomb. Okay. Uh, Non-combatants were dying throughout Asia at a rate of 200,000 people per month, and those are people that weren't even involved in the war. Okay. Uh, invade Japan, uh, as I just spoke about, that would be uh, a bad idea costing thousands of lives, or so thought the American generals. Possible target locations. Okay. Uh, what cities are to be bombed here? Uh, several cities were recommended. Uh, the psychological effect of the Japanese citizens was an important. This had to be a shock and awe kind of weapon here that we had to get their attention, but without causing a huge, huge uh, amount of lives here. Uh, Hiroshima was the first target selected. Uh, in here, the official order to drop the bomb was issued on July 25th. At 2 p.m., just a few hours after the bomb was dropped at Hiroshima, General Leslie Groves called Dr. Robert Oppenheimer to, to tell him of his success. Uh, Oppenheimer is kind of lukewarm in his reception of this news. Okay. Uh, after Hiroshima, we figured that they would be, the Japanese would surrender immediately, which doesn't happen. Uh, the bomb is dropped on Nagasaki three days later, and at that point, there becomes a surrender. And this is a picture uh, of an atomic bomb there, the one dropped at Hiroshima. And you can see the mushroom-shaped cloud of the atomic weapon. Okay. Uh, Hiroshima was selected as a target because of its population, population of just under half a million people. Uh, it was down to about a quarter million people before it was dropped. Uh, this is a plane, the Enola Gay, which dropped the bomb here. And there is the mushroom cloud again. Uh, little boy was dropped, exposed 2,000 feet above the city, and had the equivalent blast of 13,000 kilotons of TNT. Relatively small compared to anything we have today. Uh, due to radiation, approximately 152,000 people have died in addition to those who had died at the time. Nagasaki, uh, one of the largest seaports, so very important for the naval effort of Japan, and uh, center of industrial activity here. Uh, we warned the Japanese through the dropping of leaflets here, uh, calling for a, an unconditional surrender, but it was ignored. Here's Nagasaki before and then after. As you can see, there's not much left. Japanese realization that the war was, was lost uh, came to them after the dropping of both bombs, and they would surrender soon after. And here we have the Japanese surrendering on September 2nd, 1945, on board the USS Missouri. And this reaches a formal end to World War II in the Pacific. Hopefully this has been a help, and I would encourage you to check out our other videos. Thank you.